Good morning, my dear friends in Christ. I welcome you to today's edition of the Faith Issues, organized by the Catholic Diocese of Nsoka under the auspices of the Social Communications Department. Today, I invite you to reflect with me on the theme, Do Not Condemn When God Has Not. You see, in the, in the Jewish tradition, and even in our culture, in some part of our culture, it is usually the case that the testimony of two or three persons are taken to be true. Because our people will always say, Now go for ye follow, now we ake. But then, the readings of this morning have given us instances where the testimony of two or three can be false. In the first reading, it was the case of the unjust judges against the innocent Susanna, and in the gospel, it was the case of the Pharisees and the Sadducees against the woman they claimed they caught in adulterous act. These stories mirror exactly what many of us are passing through in our society today, especially young girls, women, and in particular widows, who have no one to speak for them. These stories mirror what happens to a lot of people in our society today, especially young girls and women, in particular widows, who have no one to care or to speak for them. They suffer unjustly in the hands of wicked elders whose positions were that of trust, whose positions were supposed to be that of sincerity and honesty, but unfortunately, because of greed and selfish interests, they have compromised those positions and they have become, they have become positions of victimization for vulnerable victims. Do we not have such persons in our society today? The people that champion forceful collection of lands from people, from poor people, the people that champion failing vulnerable students, female students who have refused to compromise their dignity as women. Now, from the story of Susanna and the adulterous women in the gospel today, we learn, number one, that sometimes in our lives, we will meet crossroads and situations where our faith shall be tested. We will meet situations that will pressurize us to compromise our integrity, our dignity. How do we handle such situations? This woman, Susanna, had an opportunity to compromise by doing what these elders wanted her to do and yet and, and survive. She had the opportunity to sleep with them and then have everything covered up. But what did she say? If I do what you want me to do, death will be my portion. That is eternal damnation. But if I refuse to do it, I will suffer from your hands either. Now, she now weighed the options. I would rather suffer in your hands than suffering in the hands of God. That is a woman who never wanted to sell off the virtues of dignity, the virtues of integrity, the virtues of fidelity on the table of pleasures. My dear friends in Christ, when we find ourselves in such situation, we should learn from this woman. We should learn how to allow our conscience to be our guide. We should not just sell out so cheaply our the virtues on account of the threat to our lives. For her, the threats were not enough to compromise the virtues she stood for. So whenever we find ourselves in this crossroads like Susanna, we must always listen to our conscience. Let us not betray the trust 
repose on us. Secondly, if you are a victim of false witnessing, do not lose hope. God is raising a Daniel for you. Do not compromise your faith, even when it seems you are losing the war. Susanna, remember, Susanna was already being taken to be stoned to death. The, the adulterous woman in the gospel we heard this morning was already standing, waiting for the first stone to land on her head before Jesus spoke in her favor. God will raise a Daniel for you. And I pray for you today that God will give all of us the grace to stand our grounds, especially when we are victims of conspiracy, to stand our grounds when we are being treated and maltreated and victimized by those who use their positions to stand our grounds, that God may send us Daniels to speak in our favor. But if you are among those who use their positions to victimize others, do well to desist from that. Do well to search your conscience because what happened to these wicked elders might happen to you if you do not retrace your steps. Peace be with you.